High school is a time to have fun, make new friends, and work hard in the classroom. All of this is made possible by Susan E. Wagner High School. So let's take a look back at how the graduating class of 2022 spent our final year as Falcons. Seniors have the ideal chance to enjoy breakfast and mingle with their friends before the day begins. Just make sure you don't get a bad case of senioritis and actually make it to your first period. Here at Susan E. Wagner, we pride ourselves in our diversity. One of the ways we celebrate our diversity is by having over 50 clubs, such as African Dance, Bengali, and many more. Coming back in person for the 2021-2022 school year after about two years in quarantine was a relief, but it was also a little scary to the incoming freshmen and sophomore who have never been in person before. Clubs are one way to meet new friends who have shared interests and even branch out a little and discover what you love. The club fair is a student-run event in which the captains of each club invite students to come and join. Each club created an individual sign to showcase their talents. Clubs are open to every single student. Eva Follow was a kid-friendly show that led the Susan E. Wagner Theater Department back from a year and a half without performing. Eva Follow was a show about how all the elements and aspects of Halloween add to and enhance the true magic of it from the smallest to the biggest role. Although it was a bad loss, many people were there to support the football team for their hard work and great efforts. Homecoming was also a day that acknowledged the seniors that played for the team. Juniors and freshmen put on a great show about storybook characters coming to life to teach two students not to judge a book by its cover. The seniors and sophomores visited an escape room where they had to work together in order to learn that nothing should come between friendship. In the end, SSV came out victorious and won the cup. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Well, for college, I'm in a 4 plus 4 dental early assurance program, so if that all works out, hopefully I'll be a dentist. In 10 years from now, I see myself working with Tyler Perry and making my very own Medea movie. In 10 years, I see myself teaching a elementary school class, having my own house in New York City, and possibly being married with a dog. So in 10 years, I see myself with an apartment uh, in Jersey near the water with a view to like the city, to Manhattan, <laughs> and um, hopefully I'm an orthodontist by then. In 10 years from now, I see myself as an actor on stage in New York, Broadway, off-Broadway, and in LA doing film and television. I can't wait.
understand the impact a sport has on you until you realize you have bonds that will never die. Coming onto this team, seeing seniors take freshmen in with open arms and treating them as if there were no barrier was truly touching. When I became a captain my junior year, I knew that when I was a senior, I wanted to emulate the girls who came before me and continue the culture they had begun. Being surrounded by girls who love the sport just as much as you makes the hard days worth it and the good days even better. The Wagner girls varsity soccer team is one big family that I'm so happy I got to be a part of and will remember these years as some of the best of my life. Girls swimming had a splash-tastic season with a record of four wins and six losses. The girls team worked hard at practice and even harder at meets. The team shared the hard work and put in the dedication bonding over their love of swimming with pasta parties, shirt decorating, and making new chance to start their meets. Being on the tennis team for Wagner meant a lot of people got the opportunity to play alongside other talented athletic students. They got to compete and defeat their opponents. Together the team pushed each other to be the best and to win for everyone and not just themselves. Outscoring their competition, the boys soccer team finished with a regular season record of 12-2, placing second on the island. Making it all the way to the quarterfinals, the boys gave everything they had to become victorious. Wagner Bowling has completely destroyed every team we've come across, and we will continue to do so. We'll be contending for our fourth consecutive championship next year. No one can take the smoke. Our girls bowling team had a season full of laughs and smiles. Practicing and playing at Rabs Lanes all season, some may say it became their second home. And by the end of the season, they made sure they went out with a strike. The Wagner girls volleyball team had a successful run this fall season. Getting back into the groove of an indoor season was not a challenge for the girls. With a record of 14-0, they became the island champions and continued on to playoffs. With the hard work and dedication of both the coaches and the players, they made it to the semifinals. At the winter concert, our performing arts students put on two days worth of shows. All bands, choruses, and guitar ensembles perform in a concert of bright colors and joyful spirits. This is also our first in-person concert after COVID, and I have to say, one of our best.
Besides the big stage that the auditorium has to offer, there's another stage at Wagner that theater students like to call home. Our Black Box Theater, located in the Pack Building, is where many different theater events take center stage. Other than holding theater classes there, every year each grade prepares to put on a show. This year, our seniors put on a spectacular performance of the musical Once Upon a Mattress in the Black Box in January. International Festival is one of Wagner's most anticipated events where we come together and dance to share culture with friends and family. This event takes place on our big stage in the auditorium known for many years of performance. Every January we gather together to watch our 20 plus cultural clubs ranging from belly dance, hip hop, African, Palestinian and so much more. This year we had 23 clubs perform and we had a great time respectfully indulging in each other's cultures. Even though the snow tried to stop us this year, we pushed through and had a great international festival once again. So what's your favorite class and why? Uh, my favorite class is probably directing because we've gotten like the opportunity to really like dive in and figure out different directing styles and like what suits best for me as a director and what suits best for someone that like would direct me. My favorite class is theater because it is my passion and I love to um, do it and I love our teacher. She's really amazing and um, we have so much fun and I learned so much that I could use for the future. My favorite class would be intro to filmmaking because Mr. Ryan is an amazing teacher and we all, like all the students get to connect together and interact with each other, learning about new types of films and methods and everything else. My favorite class would be English. I love how my teachers are very dedicated into helping us learn and understand the topics more. And they're really dedicated into helping us improve on our comprehension and our reading and our understanding of everything. And it's just, I love how they love teaching us. My favorite class is, fi is finance economics because I'm planning to major in finance and I hope to have a successful business one day. The girls' basketball team had an amazing season this year. Their hard work and effort was evident in their games with their chemistry off the charts. Even though they unfortunately lost the city championship, they ended their season as second place in the city. Most will argue that boys basketball was the most entertaining of the year, bringing fans from all grades and schools to come watch this year's basketball teams. Both JV and Varsity dominate every team that steps in front of the 27-2 team that would eventually bring Wagner its first Varsity Championship as well as its first JV City Championship.
girls gymnastics had a great run this year. They finished with a 4 and 4 record. Way to go, ladies. Crazy bus rides to motivational speeches, the swim team blew past the competition to win the island for another year. Heading into city playoffs again, the boys raced their way to victory, even having swimmers make it to the state championship. This year, the Wagner track team has competed in everything from the Island Championship to the Indoor National Championship. During the indoor season, both the girls and boys won the Borough Championship, as well as the boys winning the Island and City Championship. The girls came in second at the Island and City Championship for the first time ever. At Nationals, there were seven All-Americans coming in the top six for their events. As for the outdoor season, when they traveled to California for the Arcadia Invitational, they broke the girls' 4x2 school record and had some of the fastest times in New York State. The girls won the Iron Championship for the first time ever. How do you feel about the mayor lifting the mask mandate? I feel happy. Again, we're able to get back to some sense of being normal again back in school being able to see people's faces, being able to see our friends, and <laughs> having one less constraint on us. Um, how I feel about the mask mandate is honestly I feel kind of happy about it. No one's covered their faces by mask, and we all get to smile and see everybody's faces. I feel like it was based on choice, because if people wanted to take it off, that's good for them. But if they wanted to leave their mask on, that's also good for them, because they don't want to get sick. So it's, it was good because people can see each other again, and the world went back to more normalcy. I feel the lifting of the mask mandate probably was a good idea. I mean, it brings us back to like a sense of uh, like the old normal that we used to have. Our freshman, sophomore year, everybody gets to see each other. Uh, helps you breathe. It's stuffy in here. It's hot sometimes. So I definitely, I think it helps a lot of students uh, connect with each other again, connect with the teachers. Teachers were able to see our faces. So I definitely think it was a good idea. Lifting the mask mandate was a positive thing because it gave students a chance to get to know each other. You saw each other's faces, got to smile, and it gave teachers a chance to get to know you better. The flag football team played a formidable season going 8 wins and 2 losses so far. The young ladies on the flag football team played 12 PSAL games and also compete in scrimmage matches throughout the regular season. The team has worked very hard for their wins and deserved every single accomplishment.
Girls Badminton had many firsts this year. We had the most amount of members ever on the roster, high ranking in the district standings, and making it to the quarterfinal games. The girls this year formed strong bonds with each other along the way, whether it was doing drills or the two-hour drive to the Bronx for the first round of playoffs. Falling short of their goals, what made baseball great this year was the chemistry of the team. It didn't matter if they lost or won. They always found ways to pick each other up and bond throughout the season. The boys lacrosse team had a successful season. They finished with a 9-3 and three record and made their way to playoffs. Girls Lacrosse had an amazing season filled with hard work and dedication. Their efforts did not go unseen as they continued to thrive and earn themselves a spot in the city playoffs. This team is a true representation of teamwork and perseverance. This year's softball team, led by Coach Altieri, was very strong. We were a close-knit group that was offensively unmatchable. Beauty and the Beast was one for the record books. Under the new direction of the theater department, students worked hard to perform this timeless Disney story with their own modern interpretation. Students rose to the occasion and shined bright on stage.
gratitude and appreciation. Susan E. Wagner has her family, April 8th, 2022. The senior class of the year 2022 all gathered for the annual senior breakfast. On this day, our principal, Mr. Gugini, reflected on our many accomplishments that we have completed over the school year. Afterwards, the senior class took a photo on our beloved football field to take the 2022 class picture. The senior versus faculty basketball game made history. For almost 20 years, seniors were unable to beat the faculty and they finally broke the streak this year. The Senior Carnival held on the Falcon football field was made to celebrate all the seniors' accomplishments in the recent year. All the seniors got together not only to celebrate themselves, but to celebrate the whole graduating class of 2022. After having some of the most difficult times of our lives during quarantine, we seniors were beyond excited to be able to come together and celebrate our time in high school. We parted the night away in our enchanted guarded theme and danced all our worries away. We spent one last night together and savored every minute of it.
we want to say thank you on behalf of the class of 2022 for the, all the activities and especially the incredible senior week that we are currently wrapping up right now. Thank you so much. Let's hear it for one more time, everybody. So, over the last few days, you've had the opportunity to vote on our prom board. I haven't even seen the results yet. They are in this sealed envelope right now, but we are going to introduce you to our prom board for 2022. And your prom board for the class of 2022 is none other than Chrissy and I. After four years of hard work and being part of the unexpected, we are awarded for our hard work and achievements. A ceremony before graduation that highlighted specific seniors who deserve to be recognized. Students were excited to receive an award on June 14, 2022. Graduation is the time where we say farewell to one another, reminiscing about the memories we have created over the four years we have shared together. It is one of the most exciting times of our lives, marking both an ending and a beginning. It is a ceremony commemorating how far we come, celebrating all our accomplishments, achievements, and growth. As we enter the next chapter in our life, we celebrate this milestone surrounded by our peers, teachers, and loved ones. I still believe that things in life are not given, they are earned. Each of you has earned your place here today. Brian Martinez. Ronald Kinney. The commitment to serve in the military. Will the following students please stand away call? Enlisting in the United States Air National Guard.
by the New York State Board of Regents and the City of New York, I now declare you graduates of the New York Class of 2022, congratulations on your graduation from Susan Wagner High School. I am so proud of your accomplishments over the last four years. When you think about the accomplishments that you were able to achieve after all of the obstacles that have been put in your way over the last four years, you have truly written an amazing story. I look forward to your continued success. Remember that you'll always have a home here at Susan Wagner, and no matter what comes in your way, you have the resiliency to overcome those obstacles because of the lessons you've learned here. And as I've told you for the last several years, if no one has told you that they care about you today, I want you to know that I do. Congratulations once again, and I look forward to seeing you in the future. We hope that you all enjoyed Susan E. Wagner's 2022 Senior Video Yearbook. Students and staff put a lot of effort into producing this for you. Hope you look back on this in the future and it reminds you of all the great memories you've had at school. We wish you all health and happiness as you soar through life as a Falcon.